A very big hello to all my wonderful PU2 champions. I hope every one of you is doing absolutely great. So one question to you guys. Are we ready to ace the PU2 midterm examination? Well, I am pretty sure 10% of you might be saying yes. Next 90% might be saying no ma'am, I do not know where to start from. So I definitely understand you. I have been in that position which is why I am here with a 10 day strategy video where I will be helping you step by step as in making your daily timetable, your daily schedule schedule as well I'll be picking in chapters what you need to cover from day 1 to day 10 are we ready I hope we are ready and let me ask you a question before I go ahead with this particular video where do you stand level 1 is 10 percent of your portions are completed level 2 30 percent level 3 60 percent level 4 80 percent level 5 90 percent ma'am you did very wrong you made me sad by telling that I am in level 1. I, when I saw this, I realized that I am in level 1. I am very scared now. So let me tell you, this is not for you to be sad. Can you be sad forever for this particular thing? If you are sad, you will be sad forever because you are not going to score good. If you realize that you are over here and if you have that motive, that will, that no, this is not right. I am not supposed to be here. I should try to climb up. And that makes a difference. So you can be, either you have two options. One is to be sad forever. The other one is to work for it. And I believe all of you who are watching this video are like that. And if there is someone who feels that, no, I'm good in level one, then don't watch this video. This is not for you guys. Only the ones who want to climb up to different levels, this is for you guys. Now, your leveling up can be going to level two. Your leveling up can be going to level four. For me, all of you are equal if you try. If you try to give your best, your giving your best is different. Not everyone is the same and I totally understand that. So if you're ready to give your best, put it down in the comment section. Yes, I will give my best. Okay, let's start off this video with this determination in our head, my dear children. And what are we going to cover over here? First thing is the mistakes that you should be avoiding. So you are going to start off a journey of 10 days. And if at all, you have a wrong strategy that will lead you into trouble. And I do not want that, which is why I'm starting off with the mistakes that you should definitely avoid. Later, I'll be talking about the list of chapters on the basis of their priority for all the subjects. Then I'll give you a 10 days plan. What is the plan that you should be following? What are the chapters that you should be covering each single day? And fourth, your daily schedule my dear children and the fifth one the resources that you should be referring to okay you should not refer to 10,000 things so let's start off with the first thing that is mistakes to avoid and listen to me carefully and if you think that this video is going to make help you really well okay not me help you really well do not forget to hit the subscribe button right now so the first mistake which is there is Skipping your NCRT. Listen, skipping your NCRT is not at all an option. You cannot do that. You cannot refer to 10,000 books at once. If at all you are doing that, you are doing a big mistake. If at all you are not able to understand your NCRT, watch a one-shot video. Okay? Easy. Easy technique. Watch a one-shot video. You cannot watch a detailed video as of now. You do not have time for that. You just have 10 days. So watch a one-shot video. Be smart. And then read your NCRT. It will be very very easy for you to understand it now and then go ahead solving questions if you directly try to solve questions it will demotivate you and which i do not want at all okay so after watching one short video you understand the concept when you read the ncrt you get more confidence now when you're able to answer the questions you are triple confident out there done so no skipping of ncrt very very important you get line to line questions my dear children in your paper now starting randomly that is ma'am this chapter is very easy for me i'll study this first and I'm going to utilize two days of my time to study this chapter. But this chapter is what of low weightage? Is it the correct order to study? No. Face the difficult chapters. And when I say face the difficult chapters, you would have to put it in your head that these chapters are not difficult. It seems difficult because it is lengthy. Okay, it is lengthy, it has high weightage, which is why in your head it's there. It's difficult, it's difficult. It might not be difficult. Have you tried studying this chapter? Okay, again, watch the one shot video, start solving questions. Done. But you have to study it. If you think that in boards, I'll study. Boards also, you will have to face this difficult chapter, no? Then also, you will not have time. 
whatever you are thinking now the same scenario is going to repeat there also so better do it now itself it is going to help you really really well if you are going to waste your time studying the easy chapters which are of low weightage it is going to take away a lot of your marks if you are studying a difficult chapter that is of 20 marks my dear children it will guarantee you 20 marks if you do not that will take away the 20 marks from you guys remember that okay third one is overloading one subject in a day today is a day for chemistry i'm going to study the whole of chemistry today no don't do that mistake for some people it works for some people it do not they get saturated i i was someone like that i get such i used to get saturated but i never knew that okay this was happening to me i was like okay i'll try i'll try i'll try that does not work try to mix and match with other subjects for example physics and chemistry in one day so that you don't get bored with each subject and you will have that figure that okay i'm studying something new over here and here Okay, so please do not overload one subject in a day. And the fourth thing is skipping revision. It's as important as finishing your NCRT. So if you read your NCRT, if you just let it go, like if you wait for Sunday to revise, you'll forget everything. So make sure you're revising it. After every three days gap, you should be revising what you studied on the first day. It will help you. Okay, and I'll tell you how you can revise better. Don't worry. For all of it, I'm giving solutions and much detailed solution later on as well. Now over here the fifth okay and the second last mistake is no written practice. This is your PU2 examination. This is not a competitive examination. Now when I talk about PU2 examination you have to make sure you are for at least theory uh, what do you call questions okay or probably mathematics question where you need step by step marking things like that. Make sure you are at least writing the uh, what do you call brief about it you're trying to solve at least things about uh, things like that in proper order you will get to understand what are the points you're missing what are the steps that i am missing over here okay and when you do that make sure you have a time practice have a timer with you and then practice questions for one marker question give one minute for two marker question give three minutes for three marker five minutes for five marker seven minutes like that you should practice if at all you're not practicing like that basically you're giving you're solving a five marker question for 15 minutes Will that work on the day of examination? No. You might be going all prepared, but you will mess around there. So please don't do this. Okay. Agreed. Done. Now, are we ready for doing what to understand what should we actually do? Okay. So over here, the first thing is to list the chapters. So I have made the list for you guys. But if at all, there are some extra chapters, you can add it up and make the list of it. There should be tire 1, tire 2, tire 3. Tire 1 are those chapters which are of very high weightage. Gives you 13 marks, 20 marks, 15 marks and all of it. Tire 2 comes to be medium priority chapters and tire 3 is the low priority chapters. My medium priority chapters, the medium priority chapters are itself 11 mark, 10 mark, 10 mark over here my dear children. So you understand that all of it are somewhere equal itself. Okay, but just to give you an understanding that these are the chapters that you should definitely not miss. Okay, because these has the highest number of markings up there. Okay, now you segregated your chapters. Now what you should do? You should be having a 10 day plan. Without a plan, do you think you are going to act on anything? No. If tomorrow I do not know what I should do. It will be just like a normal day. It will just go on. Whatever comes in, I'll do. But you just have 10 days. Now, can you think that I'm going to waste my 10 days just like that? And I'm going to face midterm as and when it comes? No, my dear children. These 10 days can be uh, a changing point. Okay, when you feel... You just imagine a scenario where you are entering the examination hall. You get the paper and you know the answers. And you're really, really happy seeing it. And you get great marks. You're showing it to your parents. You're showing it to your friends. You think of the confidence and happiness you have on that day. You have it, you understood it, you thought of it now and now my dear children you have to work for it. And that is how, that is why you should be making what? A 10 day plan. So here I have made a plan for you guys but you can do it yourselves as well depending on whatever you have covered already you can rearrange the chapters. So what I have done, easy language I will tell you, I have taken a tire 1 chapter in physics and on the same day I will be completing a chemistry chapter of tire 2 that is medium priority. Now obviously I can change the chapters. For example, if I am someone who have not studied any chapters of physics, I should know that electric charges and fields is the first chapter to get completed with. Then the second, cha second chapter should be current electricity. The third one should be electrostatic potential and uh, capacitance. Then moving charges, then alternating current. So you can reorder it in your own way, but make sure if you're picking up over, picking this over there, that is electric charges and fields, you are pairing up with a chapter that is of medium priority. That won't be, what do you call, hectic for you guys then. Please pick up electrochemistry there. 
Okay, so second chapter, if you are taking current electricity, then take coordination compounds over here. Like that, you can manage. Okay, this is your for your 10 days. Now, when I say 10 day over here, my so alternatingly it is going. So one day you are studying physics and chemistry, the second day you are completing maths and biology. If at all you do not have biology, you can give the complete day for mathematics. And if you want to take some more thing out from physics and chemistry, you can utilize that over here. If at all you need it. Okay, so this is how you can target things. And over here also the same thing I have done, T1, tire 1 chapter and tire 2. Now the yellow chapters that you see are the chapters which are left, which I am not able to complete within the 10 day duration. You should understand I do not have enough time. That's a reality. So what can I do is, rather than leaving the chapter as a whole, I am going to make use of the one shot videos, the short one shot videos and going to see the question. If at all I am not able to solve the question by myself, at least I am going to watch a video that has lots of questions in it that are, that are being solved in that particular video. Can I do that? Yes. So electromagnetic induction and magnetism and matter can be done together. They are small, small chapters. It would be easy for you to cover. Now, depending on what's coming in your paper, it can be alcohols and phenols and ether or it can be a haloalkanes and haloarene. Then my dear children, make sure if at all both of them are coming, cover this first because it is a longer chapter. If and uh, yeah, that's all. If at all one is coming, then you can pick if haloalkanes is coming, then pick that chapter. If alcohol is coming, then pick that particular chapter. If both of them are coming, then over here, as I said, prioritize this. The second priority goes to this. Again, one shot videos and question practice. That should be done. You are not going to leave any single chapter. I hope you understand that. Okay. So now you understand that even 10 days is not enough for you. Right. So will you work hard? I hope you do. This is not to scare you. This is going. This is a way to tell you that, my dear children, you have to work hard. You have to think smart. You do not have to waste any single bit of your time up there. And by that, I do not mean you grind, you grind yourself and you basically are not able to even have your food properly or sleep properly. No, not like that. Have a smart plan. Okay, so over here, I have one very, very important announcement for you guys. This is our smart plan. That is KC90. It's a 90 day crash course, which is aiming for clearing KCT examination as well as Comet K examination. And when I say that you want to clear KCT examination, I am going to make sure that you are going to cover your PU2 board really, really well. Okay, so this particular crash course is aiming for two examination, which gives you entry into the top colleges of Karnataka and not just Karnataka, top colleges of India because the, the colleges over here comes under the top 100 colleges of India as well. This is going to be offline at our Diksha campuses on Fridays, Saturdays as well as Sunday, three days thing. Okay, you can give a call on this number or you can go to official website for checking in the details and I am telling you, you are going to get a rank under top 1000 the next year because that's our guarantee. But what should be your guarantee? To study really, really hard. Now, I saw a lot of you asking for the online version of it. We will definitely consider it if we see there is a huge lot of crowd. So please, please, please let us know in the comment section if at all there is some thought like that. And over here, as I said, there will be syllabus coverage, there will be test series, there will be mock test, a lot of things are there. So don't miss out on it. Okay? works cool if at all you have any doubts put it down in the comment section and let me tell you there are lots of children who made utilization of the resources that we provided the previous year i'm going to show you at the end of the video and trust me on this it helped them really really well and they are in some top colleges out there with so great placements okay yes so over here, I'm going ahead with a daily schedule that you can follow if at all you want. I'm considering that you come from school at 4.30, something like that, 4, 4.30, you can take some rest. Start off your study session from 5 to 6 p.m. Over here, either you can take physics or mathematics, whatever subject is there. If you're taking physics, then the other subject that you have to pick would be chemistry. Okay, cover today's chapter, whatever chapter is allot allotted for today's day, cover this chapter again using the one shot lecture. After that, you can read the NCRT as well. But over here, you have to make sure you are studying the concept really, really well. If you have time for question practice, you can do so. If you do not have, don't worry. I'll tell you when you can do so. Take a short break for 10 minutes and go ahead with the next subject that is chemistry or biology over here. Again, concept as well as practice. Make sure whenever you are understanding concepts, you have a one shot, uh, what do you call, one page summary for it as well. Done. Now go ahead and take a break. 
from 7.10 to 7.25 and then from 7.25 to 8.25 you can block your time for physics or mathematics. Over here you have time for solving questions. So as of now here you covered your concepts. Now it's time to what? Solve the previous year questions. It is very very important. If at all you're not solving you do not know where do you stand. And when you solve the questions mark 5 questions. I'll tell you why you should mark these 5 questions out there. So please mark 5 questions out there and then you have done your uh, what do you call question practice also now from 8 25 to 9 pm what you will do you will have your food and take rest from 9 to 10 starts your chemistry or biology session again start solving questions and if at all you think that you have not covered the concept over here you can take utilize this time for covering your concept but make sure you're not missing out on question practice because without question practice you will not know where do you lie now from 10 to 10 30 over here also when you practice questions mark five questions Okay, so 5 plus 5, 10 questions I have. From 10 to 10.30, I am going to take a mini test where I am going to solve these questions, covering both the subjects together. Done. And in that way, I have an understanding that, okay, I am able to answer the question or not. And that gives you instant confidence, my dear children. And the resources that you have to pick in is your NCRT for sure. For PU2 question practice, you can look for Jeevit publication books. This is available for all these subjects. So you then that is done year wise as well. So you get an understanding of what are the questions that are being repeated every single now and then. And if at all you're not able to understand the answers which are there, trust us, we have done the best work out there in our midterm midterm revision marathon that is put over here for all these subjects. And Jasmine, this is Ankit sir this is Aishwarya ma'am and that's Swamik sir we have covered everything every single chapter which is going to come on your midterm examination with one shot video separately and the questions separately watch this in the one shot break watch this in the question break and it's done and dusted you don't have to go to 10,000 resources out there and trust us when I say that these were the results of the previous year batches this is just one snip so over here, we have the name of the children's, the chemistry score, the physics score, the mathematics score and the biology score for those of you who picked biology instead of CS. And it was crazy because they trusted us. And I believe that you can also trust us because we are bringing ranks. And that is what you see over here. So trust us and follow this timetable. And if you have any doubts, I'm here to solve it up. Do not forget to hit on the subscribe button if at all you have not done so. Bye bye. Take care.